Human Mouse Top 10 Moments, selected and presented by Madeline. Moment number 10, Death. Although Chairman Mao did a good job as leader of the Communist Party during the war with the Nationalists, when Chairman Mao died, the Chinese people realized that he was not a great leader during the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution. Event number nine, Mao was a child. Chairman Mao's parents were wealthy farmers who also sold things. When he was 13, he left home to go to high school and get a better education. This influenced his decision to put the farmers on the top of the social structure. Event number eight, Chairman Mao as a teacher. Chairman Mao worked for the Peking University as a teacher. In his spare time, he organized students, merchants, and workers to oppose the Japanese takeover of Germany's concession in Shandong province. Event number seven, letting a hundred flowers bloom. Chairman Mao set up a program to try to enlist support among Chinese intellectual elite by letting them exchange views freely. But even though he gave them freedom to criticize the, the government, if they did, they were sent to the educational camps. Event number six, Long March. Chairman Mao and 80,000 soldiers started it. Only a tenth of the people who gained the march survived. It's a 6,000 mile fighting retreat, which showed that from this point forward, Mao was the communist leader. Event number five, Red Guards. Chairman Mao sent the Red Guards on witch hunts against his opponents, and anyone who opposed him or was not a communist. Event number four, Jiang Qing. Ch Chairman Mao's third wife was the actress Jiang Qing. She supported the revolution and was rarely seen with Mao. Event number three, Great Leap Forward. Chairman Mao established a Great Leap Forward in 1958. He tried to have China catch up with the other countries in steel production by having people donate their iron to be melted and made into steel. The cost said season failed, so no one had any food, and a lot of people starved. Event number two, World War II. These nationalists were mainly fighting the Japanese and not the communists. So when the nationalists won against the Japanese, they were very weak, and it allowed the communists to win. Event number one, the Cultural Revolution. After the Great Leap Forward failed, Chairman Mao tried to strengthen China by starting the Cultural Revolution. Part of the Cultural Revolution was it changed the social structure so peasants and farmers were on the top, while the rich people, landowners, and teachers were on the bottom of the social structure.